are proceeding with Lesson 6, Part 2. In Part 1, we uh, had just covered the material in which we said that God initiated some acts, some proceedings in history in the 1400s that had um, a perpetual influence on history and even on us today. The first of those was a reformation of uh, spiritual awakening in Europe and led by Martin Luther. The second was that translations of the scriptures were taking place into the common languages of the people. And third, the printing press was coming of age, was being perfected to the point that it was really a useful item for the propagation of printed pages, including scriptures. So let's proceed from there with part two of lesson six. The Bible says the entrance of your word gives light. As the truth of God's word, were, uh, truths were proclaimed, the word of God was circulated to common people through the translators, the printers, the re uh, courageous preachers. Many godly people were put to death by the wicked kings. There was great animosity between the Roman-controlled church and the breakaway church, Church of England. But nothing could stop the fire of Reformation from spreading across Europe, and that ended the Dark Ages. Secular historians want to call it the Renaissance and claim that that is what brought, about, brought the world out of the Dark Ages. But the Reformation gave rise to the Renaissance. Without spiritual awakening, there would have been little or no Renaissance. The Renaissance was a revival of literature, art, theater, architecture, and music. The direct result of the religious Reformation. The Reformation and the printing press allowed new challenges of the old systems of slavery, feudalism, and authority of ruthless monarchs. For a time, maybe this did give Europe a privileged status, sort of a head start out of the Dark Ages. But notice what happened next. The fourth great thing taking place was European exploration was beginning to discover new lands and reach around the world. On the heels of these explorers were the missionaries, pastors, and priests, Christian pilgrims seeking religious freedom in newly discovered lands. Sometimes the Christ bearers were on the same ships with the explorers. Sometimes they were the explorers. The great institutions, educational institutions of Europe and America were rooted in the Bible. This enlightenment laid the foundation for liberty, for the rise of a constitutional republic in the new world, and for the abolition of slavery, at least in the countries that were open to the gospel. The outline of his story is a very exciting trip through history. Wherever you are viewing this in the whole world, you should take a moment to thank God for his sovereign control and for the benefits and blessings you have right now because of these great stepping stones of history, synchronizing to overthrow the evil empires of darkness and allowing you to hear the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. My friend, although many people are rejecting this light, slipping back into a world of darkness, you don't have to be one of them. Right now, Jesus Christ is reaching out to you. Believe on him. Trust in him for salvation. Rely on him for victory over darkness. Cling to him in every circumstance of life. For you are the children of light, the children of the day, the Bible says. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. We may not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. We would love to hear from you through YouTube comments or email at the address on the screen, Facebook Messenger or MeWe. Feedback from our friends everywhere is such a blessing to us. We welcome questions and suggestions. Maybe there is some biblical or moral topic you would like for us to address. We want to be a blessing and encouragement to you in any way we can. At the end, you will see some picture links to other videos on this channel. You watching another video helps us ultimately reach more people. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the little round uh, picture of Crystal and I. Thanks for watching, and God bless you.